What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are tackling F1 Manager once again. I believe we are heading to the Mexican Grand Prix. Let's find out if I'm right. Yes! It's the Mexican Grand Prix. Welcome, welcome. We are in a title fight. I say title. Uh, P5 is the title. In the constructors with Alpine, three points is the difference. But more importantly, we're having a massive ass battle with the cost cap. Look at this. 9.4 million remaining. If you factor in the projected spending, which is another 3.8 mil for facilities and staff and wages expenses, we are left with 5.8 million for the rest of this season. That's about five races, I think. So we have to kind of coast through the rest of the season and beat Alpine. It's a tough ask, but we're going to try and do that. Let's have a look at the car analysis. This is something I've not looked at for a while with uh, all of our latest upgrades on. Actually, we do have a big upgrade coming today and it's kind of come out of nowhere, but it's I, I found it's better to do some more designing than research. But for this particular part of the car, it says we are last in low speed cornering. What? If we're genuinely this bad, how are we doing so well? How are we fighting for points? I don't know, Jeff. What parts have we got on the car? Is it because of the missing car parts? That's more like it. Eighth, sixth, and sixth. Okay. That's pretty good, actually. Essentially, we're like third best car. Uh, because you've got Red Bull taking up the first two car slots, so then Ferrari taking up the other the other two. Then maybe throw in a cheeky Mercedes in there. And then and then we're kind of best of the rest. That's not bad, considering how terrible this car was at the start of the season. This isn't like the new and updated McLaren from Silverstone onwards. We took on this team as a legitimate backmarker. Only Williams was, was slower than us, I believe, at the start. It's absolutely mental. The design for the new underfloor is done. So we have the blueprint for that. We need to manufacture the actual part. And that is coming in one day time. Unfortunately, only for Lando. Because it would have taken too long to do two. We're going to start the second one immediately after this. We had to rush this in to be on for today or for this Grand Prix. There's the underfloor components. Uh, so we can now put that on Lando's car. Now, if this fails, it won't fail. If it breaks, we're up a creek without a paddle this weekend because that's the only component we have. And we are not manufacturing another one. Even if for an emergency, it'll cost too much. So important that Lando looks after it. Oh, here's the wind tunnel concerns. The debacle from the other day. As you remember, uh, you decided not to carry out in-depth structural analysis on the wind tunnel. Luckily, it appears that there wasn't anything to worry about anyway. Come on! Let's go! We would have delayed eight days and we wouldn't have got this underfloor on in time for today and it would have been for nothing as well. I'm so glad we decided not to care. And before I forget, let's actually get the new underfloor on. The reason why we're putting it on is because we need... This crucial detail here, car part knowledge. We need to understand if the upgrade actually works. It will, in theory, but the driver has to get to know it. So we're gonna, oh, we're on manufacturing. We do need to manufacture a second one, one for Piastri. So we're gonna do that and it's gonna take eight days. Oh, which means it'll be on for Saturday for Brazil. He won't get it for Friday, but he will get it for Saturday. Let's do it, only 400K, keeping the costs down as much as we can. Do we need anything else? Five side pods, maybe suspension. We're down to only three. So we'll do we'll do one. And hopefully that's enough to get through the season. Oh, we didn't actually put the new underfloor on the car. Uh, underfloor, what are you gonna do? Look at that. That is such a big boost. <laughs> that's absolutely nuts. Oh, that individual part makes us the third best car at high speed for an underfloor. Yes, please. With that said, New part to run this weekend. Let's hope we are quick. To the race weekend. I'm kind of thinking we go all in next weekend for Piastri when he gets his new underfloor. And we don't we don't wear out the good engine yet. We take the new ERS and gearbox next next race? No. No, we take it now. We completely mud this weekend for Piastri. Yes. We mud Piastri today. New ERS. Gearbox. New gearbox. That is three and a half million taken out of our five, five million, five and a half million or something we have left. Very good. Yes, both, car, both cars are going to get 
Clear laps. Might actually call Lando in. Lando, I reckon, is safe. Oscar, we're going to go again. Only four tenths off this time. Hopefully that's us through to Q2. I've also got to remember as well, Lando's got a new underfloor on, which is quite a sizable upgrade. So not expecting them to be close on pace. I shouldn't expect them to be close on pace. Oscar's starting at the back anyway. So I'm going to park the cars. I feel like my judgment is very good when it comes to cutoffs in qualifying. At least we've got that going for us, chat. Two tenths in the end. Time for Q3. I don't think Oscar's going to get to Q3. If I have to call it. All right, Oscar starts his lap. No one's going to get in Oscar's way. Thank goodness for that. A few people will get in Lando's way, which is not ideal. So currently P3. A long so way I'm off. Happy with that lap. A long way off. Oscar. So just confirming. Norris, yeah, didn't even beat Oscar. Not good enough. Cancel call in. We are doing another lap. Lando goes fifth. Only three tenths off Alonso. Hello. Let him cook. Piastri is probably out. We have another set of tyres to throw at it though. And I'm going to take out some fuel. This will be a one lap run this time. What's this? Lando, you're not running out of fuel, are you? So we have a red flag. Ah! How do you feel? I am feel. I am very feel. Sorry! Oh, how do we run out of fuel? I don't understand what we did differently. I don't understand. It was good for two laps. We did, we ticked two flying laps, include cooldown. We did one flying lap on automatic, did one cool lap, and then we did a flying lap, and then we ran out on the way back to the pits. How does that happen? It's the exact same protocol as Q1, but this time there's not enough fuel. Anyway, let's uh, let's not dwell on it. We got a new set of tires to chuck at this. To be fair, guys, there have been so many times this season so we have where we should have ran out of fuel in qualifying, but we didn't. We got saved. Today we got our just desserts. Can we get into Q3 with both cars? That is all that matters at the end of the day for the sponsors. Two green sectors to the line. Not quite. Not quite. I think we only promised Q3 with one car, so I think we're still okay. P12 is not terrible, and we're starting at the back anyway, so I'm not upset. But we are going to take no further part in qualifying for Lando. He will start P10 depending on where these guys get. So I think we're heading straight to the race now. Because there's rain, we might get saved. Sometimes when it's a rainy race, it can nullify a grid penalty, especially if it rains early. If it goes from dry to wet earlier, there's an early change of compounds. We can win up big time. So let's see, 15th, only five places. Not terrible. And the rain is coming, lap 30. Could we do, we could go mediums to get to that point. Oscar, I think, will have to go hard if we are to get the tyres that far. That said, we generally want to go aggro. Aggro on hards will get us to the rain. Something like that, I think, will be our race strategy. We do have two sets of softs, and softs would enable us to get faster slap, which could prove crucial in this championship. Actually, yeah, getting faster slap, getting a cheeky... F Guys, you're making me overthink here. And we know Badge doesn't like it when we overthink. Double softs. Aggro, aggro. We guarantee faster slap before the rain. Oh, guys, you're tempting me. And if anyone can get it, Lando can. We're going to split the strategies. What will happen next? We're about to find out at the Mexico City Grand Prix. Here we go. And it's lights out. And away we go. Let's go, let's go. Hopefully, we get some big points on Alpine. Okay. The fight begins already. We're ahead of uh, Esteban Ocon. We're behind Esteban Ocon. We're ahead of Esteban Ocon. We're behind Esteban Ocon. We're ahead of Esteban Ocon. <laughs> I'll stop now. Come on, let's get him. Side by side, into the middle sector. So many cars in such a, a tight space makes me very nervous. He's on mediums, by the way. He might need to stop. There's no question marks with what we're doing today. It's okay. It's okay. Long way to go. Not easy to overtake. 
I don't think Piastri can really do anything against these guys. He's the only one on hards. It will be interesting if anyone boxes. Keep the tires alive. That's all you got to do. We will let Piastri cook. Two people on softs, actually. So we're in a race against them. It's hard to tell if we're cooking yet, chat. So we'll hold those reservations for later. Right now, we're stuck. Right now, we are stuck behind. I think uh, Perez is going to break DRS to Ocon, and then, and then life is going to get a lot easier for us. All right. I think from now, we should be able to use some pace. I said use pace, not get overtaken. Uh, no. I get the RS on, on uh, Leclerc. But that is... That's where the good news ends. Carry us back up to Perez. Ocon has overtaken Perez. That's unbelievable. Oh, that's safe fuel. Those guys aren't going anywhere. I think, I think maybe the harder compounds are, are actually pretty good. Okay. Right now, we feel slow. Piastri is chilling, by the way, with his hards. Only person on hards. Piastri race win incoming. Problem is, he's already 18 seconds off the lead. <laughs> he's nearly a pit stop down already. So the best thing we can do right now is just not burn the tires. Oh, no. You're joking. We re-overtake Sonoda, I think. No, we don't. There's a yellow flag there. Oh, Alonso! That's not what you want. Yeah, what, what the red flag? Red flag? Could that be a red flag? People are boxing. Sights and stroll. Bro. There was a blockage on the track. Ocon is now fourth. What the hell happened? And now Pi Piastri is two and a half seconds off Sonoda. What's going on? Anyway, they've come out in a lot of traffic. But this has brought us up with the, uh, the train once again. We cannot allow Alpine to get a top five. Bro was sideways. How the hell is he in fourth? Ooh, how convenient. 123-0. Piastri is so slow. So slow. I think we probably lost DRS to the Red Bull. We're not going to get DRS here because it's a double DRS zone. Double detection from the last corner. So we're going to have to wait a whole lap to, uh, to get DRS again. If we get DRS again. Into the last corner. Come on, please get it. I think we got it. Had to use literally everything. But we're back, baby. The RS is so powerful. A virtual safety a car. Big crash here. Who's crashed? Now Alex Albon is part of this. With not much room to move, the car's coming together right there. Oh, and they'll have to pick themselves dear. up after that. That's right behind us as well. Did we react? I the think we. I think we box. Because a, a pit stop was faster anyway. That's happened behind us. I reckon we box Piastri and put him on softs. Because we're not going to see dry running for the rest of the race after it rains. Yeah, I'm going to box. There's nothing doing for us. It's a free pit stop. It's a free pit stop. The wall. Be careful this, might, this might save our race. Are everyone all right? Yes, everyone is okay. We do come out last, but we've got new tyres now. We're going to react with Lando. The VSC still stays out. Because we're not too far away from our pit window anyway. In fact, we're right on it. This is perfect. Perfect. Uh, yeah, let's box. New softs, please. This could make our race. Let's go. Let's go. Do we come out ahead? No, not a sight. Can we get Hulkenberg? We do get Hulkenberg. We come out P11 on new tires. That is huge. Everyone is going to be struggling on, on tires to the end. Virtual safety car ending. All out attack until the rain. Yeah, All out attack. Sergeant is going to be our leapfrog to get fastest lap. I think next lap. Next lap we could probably do it for both cars if we have the gap. Norris should be within range. This is it. Now it's time. Tires aren't too hot. We have battery. Perfect time to go for fastest lap. We're going to get DRS as well. This is perfect. Get fastest lap now. Get fastest lap. Just in case Lando can't get it, we'll make sure Piastri does. Norris didn't get it? 
Oh, science went a tenth quicker. You're joking. Try again this lap for, for Lando. The Astro moves up in place. I reckon by the time the rain comes, we'll, we'll have more than made that back up. Let's focus on Piastri. Nice move. So let's get after it. Oh, aggressive. So rain is Punchy. Imminent. Punchy from Ricardo. Wow, good defense. Oh, we're getting attacked by Ricardo. Come on. Alpha Tauri, and they've got older medium tires. How are we not winning this? Come on, lads. Sort it out. Interestingly, Lando's not really gaining on the Alpines. Now the yellow. Alpine are just really quick. Alpine are really quick this weekend. I don't know why. We're slower than Gasly last lap. Who's got older medium, so. Gasly's got a mudded engine. And is way quicker. I don't what well, I don't understand. The rain is falling. Yep. We're not going to react. It's going to be slow. Might even be a couple laps before we need to box. It's really slow. Plus, I'd rather make the most of our tyres. I don't want to. I don't want to react early. I want to get the most out of these things. Potentially this lap. Potentially this lap. Maybe with Oscar. Still quite slow. Norris gets past Gasly. Very good. Yes, overtakes are happening now for us. The club boxes. Surely for Inters. It is Inters. He's gone early. The medium runners will be more desperate to box because their tyres are getting pretty old. I'm not going to... Yeah, we're not going to box. Not yet. Not even with Piastri yet. It's not time. We buy ourselves flexibility for later as well. People are starting to come in though. This could be the time to react now. This could be the lap. Russell's in. Verstappen carries on. I'm going to go another lap. It's slow. It's a slow transition. I'm going to stay out one extra lap. I, we're still not at one millimeter yet. I know it's fairly comparable when we get to this point, but the tires are like pretty equal in pace with each other. Best case is to stay out because they're both the same pace and we get fresher inters for later. Oscar gets DRS, so he can now cook. So let's get into push. Let's deploy. Let, this is our time to make up some time. I'll come over with a pit stop issue. Huge. Boris is on the podium. A safety car now would be massive. Verstappen. Pits. This might be time. I reckon we definitely box Piastri this lap because by the time he gets around, it should be time. Oscar is a no-brainer. It's whether we carry on one more for Lando. I'm going to stay out one more lap. All that time he spent on, on slicks. In the wet, in practice, is coming in clutch now. We are going to box this lap. We are boxing this lap. We might be saving a pit stop later on by running this long. Gastry's in. And, and out again. Good stuff. Oscar has actually come out in P11. So I reckon the overcut has worked, guys. I think it's worked. Pit confirm. Pit confirm. Perfect timing. Literally perfect timing. Right as it went one millimeter. And now we have fresher tires. No hold up in the pits. Lovely stuff. P10, P11. Yeah, we could probably go to the end with Lando on his inters. Gasly undercut me. Yeah, but we've now got an advantage for the rest of the race. Piastri gets Sarge. Uh, Sarge gets Piastri. I think we probably need to... What do we do? Oh, virtual safety car. Virtual safety car. For what? Yikes. This definitely helps us. Helps us get the tires to the end. Helps us save fuel. Guys, I'm tempted. I'm really tempted. I know we've made some ballsy calls today, but boxing now would definitely guarantee Piastri can push hard on Inters to the end. It's nearly a free pit stop. Nearly. Let's have a look. Reports. Time considerations. It's only a 15 second stop. We gained 7 seconds. Not worth 9%. Okay, we'll stay out. We'll stay out. Be a seat. Okay, when you put it in perspective, it is only 9%. Huge gaps. Absolutely huge gaps. Means that there's not too much for us to manage. We just literally leave them to it now. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix between avoiding high risk curbs and not. Okay, avoid high risk curbs again. Yeah, this is the race, guys. We just we just go full attack. I'm gonna compare times. High risk curbs on for Lando, high risk curbs off for Piastri, but overheating. I think it's quicker. It's quicker to just turn it off and let them overheat. Let them cook. Let the tires cook. 
Avoid high risk curbs. Means you take less stress out of the tires and the components. And the tires are cooler, but it comes at a cost of pace. And here we have a move. For Lando Norris. And overtake is available. This will be a right. two point swing. More than that, a three point swing. Three point swing. In the championship in favor of us. Ocon is still in fourth. We don't like to see that. I wouldn't say no to a safety car. Ah, we had the pace on Gasly. Ocon with his new engine was just clear today. Absolutely clear. So they're gonna they're gonna pull some big points on us in the championship. That is a shame. So clear of Gasly. I want I want you guys in chat to let me know. If you were managing this team right now, what would you do different? What would you have done in order to maybe pull something out of the bag here? I feel like with Piastri, the answer is pretty pretty simple. We go soft, soft like Lando, and he'd probably be a, a bit higher up himself. Um, could have boxed maybe a lap earlier for Inters, for Lando. Once again, it, I think it just it comes down to car pace. When it, when it came to it, and like all things being equal, like the start of the race, etc., we just didn't have pace. We couldn't stay with Alpine. Alpine was so clear today. Even though we've had better tyres for the majority of the Grand Prix, we haven't been able to do much with it. So it's just a case of the car not being up to scratch. But this could be a momentous day for Alpine. They could get P5 in the constructors with Ocon's drive today. It's been pretty legendary. We have not had that pace. Not for a while. So GG's. If they manage to hold on to that. Catching up to Sainz. We've pulled a couple of seconds on him actually. Piastri, let's go full deploy, full deploy. But Max, rounding the last couple of corners now, is once again going to win a Formula One race. Verstappen wins the Mexican Grand Prix. Absolutely huge. The Mexican fans love that. Oh, we have to check the flag now. <laughs> we unfortunately don't get fastest lap, but it will be a couple of points in our conquest to beat Alpine. Piastri. Finishes P12. Lando coming through the stadium section for the last time. He's going to get P9 and two points. Once again, flying the flag for McLaren. GG's. Max Verstappen has done it. He sealed this year's driver's title. Oh, he's won. Winning one title is hard. A second is even harder. But they've done it. They just said it's his second title, but I'm pretty sure it's his third. They get that wrong. But uh, Verstappen wins. Russell, Leclerc on the podium. I think Leclerc went aggressive early on to Inters. But Ferrari is quick anyway, so they can pretty much do, it, do what they want. And they're pretty, a pretty safe bet for a podium. Especially when Alonso in that car had a massive spin midway through the race. P4 for him. Ocon with a P5. 10 points. That is absolutely huge for Alpine. Not what we wanted, essentially. And then everyone else is really quick. Good cars. Alpine were on another level today. We're going to have to pull out something special in the next couple of races to uh, to mix it with them. But, you know, he had a new engine today. That might be his big advantage now gone. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like we'll have better engines for future races. Uh, we didn't put everything into this race with Lando's engine. That's for sure. Driver's standings. Two points. I think that's probably where we're going to stay, to be honest. Unless Ocon has something to say about that. That's probably his best result of the season. And boy, did they need it. Instructors, 12 points. 12 points is the gap now. Running out of cost cap, running out of engines, running out of time. Can we beat Alpine? It's a 3-4 in the fastest up challenge, fastest pit stop challenge. So we keep that championship going. I think, I think we got Ferrari covered. But there we go. That has been the stream for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did. Enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, 3.6 mil added to the finances. But it's not the amount we have in our balance that we care about. It's uh, staying under the cost cap. Sao Paulo Grand Prix in four days time. Cost cap. Oh, my word. There it is. 5.2 million versus minus 3.8. Chat and YouTube. We have... 1.4 million left in the cost cap. And we have... How many races to get through now? Three. Three to the end. We've got to spend less than 1.4 million to get to the end of the season. 
Let me know if we're going to stay safe to the cost cap or are we going to get deleted by the FIA. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.